Well, I'm on the farm here today, and uh, I got a hay customer coming. My barnyard, while it's uh, relatively free from debris, except for a couple of round bales that I had baled in a previous video out of the barn, for, and a broken down uh, Cub Cadet 149, I uh, need to kind of spruce up this thing and mow the grass in here. And uh, so... I thought I'd uh, show you my latest acquisition and uh, see if we can handle some of this taller grass. So for years and years, I've ran lawn boy uh, push mowers and uh, two cycle lawn boys, and I really like them. Uh, but and and let me back up here a little bit. Uh, in my videos and uh, videos to be made, you'll see. Uh, Cub Cadet, Wheel Horse, you know, you'll see a McCulloch Chainsaw, Steel Chainsaws. Um, uh, one of my hobbies, if you will, is uh, tinkering with old garden tractors and push mowers, chainsaws, things like that. But just like my John Deere 5055D, I've had it for a while now, but uh, compared to my other tractors, it's it's relatively new. And... Uh, sometimes you need uh, one machine that'll start every time and no flat tires. And so <clears throat> I learned uh, here all in the past couple of months that Honda is going to discontinue uh, making uh, push mowers, gasoline push mowers. And uh, so we needed a uh, we needed a push mower. Uh, basically that would start every time and no flat tires and uh i thought uh i'd give a honda a try and uh, we actually bought a couple of them one for me and one for my wife kind of a uh uh not a retirement perk but a close to a, a retirement perk and uh she got a honda hrx 217 hya which is, has a plastic deck on it, and I bought the uh, Honda Commercial, and the, the dealer we bought uh, these from uh, gave us a deal by buying two of them, and uh, so this this is a uh, uh, Honda Commercial push mower. This is the one your landscape guy would use, and uh, I'll get into this a little bit more, but... Uh, I want to get it off the uh, I want to get it off the truck and uh, uh, down here on the ground. So these ramps are aluminum ramps, and uh, I've had these things. I don't throw anything away. For some reason, I have the I have an inability to throw anything away, and uh, I think it probably drives my wife nuts, but. Maybe when I retire, I'll have more time for such foolish things as getting rid of perfectly good junk. These aluminum ramps I've had for years, and uh, they we've been tripping over them. They're finger pinchers. You can lose a finger on these things. I'm, I, I truly believe that. But <clears throat> this Honda is so heavy, uh, I can't lift it up in the truck. I probably could, but my back would probably uh, protest, and I need my back uh, whether I retire or not. Well, these are made of aluminum, and they fold out, and they fit perfectly in the back of that truck. So... Uh, Plus one for not throwing stuff away because if I'd have gotten rid of these years ago like I wanted, uh, I don't know. I'd have had somebody up here to help me uh, uh, get this mower off the truck. Now before I get <clears throat> too crazy about uh, getting the ramps up on here and uh, letting this mower down while it's at uh, waist high level, I thought I'd... Uh, just kind of show you a few things about it and uh, 
So first of all, this is a, a Honda. It's an HRX 216 HDP. Now, the uh, the cat's meow is one called the HRX, and it's got a blade brake control. Uh, this one doesn't. It's got a lever here that, uh, uh, like any other lawnmower, when you push that in, uh, it lets the engine run. When you let it off, it stops everything. And uh, and then this is the self-propelled. Uh, this is a self-propelled machine. So so that that second arm right here is the one that uh, you use to make the wheels go forward. Now, so this engine has a commercial duty uh, Honda engine. It's a traditional. It's a traditional pushrod engine, as I'm to understand. It has cast iron sleeves, and uh, it's a very, very durable, uh, very durable engine. The transmission on this that drives the wheels is hydrostatic, and it has a shaft coming from the engine to the hydrostatic unit. So there's no belts uh, on this. Not that a belt has ever given me problems on a mower, but. Uh, that's just the way this one is. Now, my dad had uh, a commercial Toro push mower, and I've still got it. It needs repaired. Uh, it, it needs some repairs, but uh, I kind of had him in mind when I bought this mower. Uh, he liked the commercial uh, mower and the durability of them, and uh, I, I could have I spent less money, but uh, this kind of reminded me of my dad, so uh, that that played a part in buying the commercial and uh, so uh, this is a hydrostatic uh, transmission that drives these wheels and there's an infinite uh, you can infinite number of speeds you can go uh, with that <clears throat> so you're not holding a, a lever halfway up or all the way up to get you a little more speed or less speed you can you can set it and and go however fast that you want uh, and then uh, it's got your your uh, your throttle here. Uh, this one actually has a manual choke. A lot of mowers don't have a choke on them anymore. I'm not sure how all that works, but uh, I'm kind of old school uh, in that regard. I still like a choke on a gasoline engine. Uh, this mower deck is uh, steel. It's 16 gauge steel. I would have preferred it it had been a little bit thicker. The uh, it has individual height adjusters on all four wheels. I did have some trouble uh, with this uh, the, the the height adjusters on this one, and I'm ho I'm hoping it'll it'll work. But uh, there's a solid shaft that goes across from wheel from wheel to wheel, and these things are 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 held on on both ends of that shaft, and the bolt right here. That screws into the end of that shaft uh, was cross-threaded, and it wasn't. It it didn't have these wheels fast against the uh, the deck, if you will, and because the the wheels could move like that, you could when it would move this way, this would come out of the groove. So I took that bolt out and. Uh, and I got, I think I have that fixed, but I also took these guys off and put them in my vise, and I, I bent them just a little bit more so that they would definitely kick over like that. And uh, so that's the one uh, issue I've had right out of the gate uh, with this mower. So I'm not a, uh, I'm not a big uh, fan of rear discharge. We don't bag our grass. Uh, uh, we're trying to mulch my wife's Honda that she's got, and I'll probably do a video on it. Uh, uh, we're trying the mulching on that, and it actually works pretty good. Uh, these mowers have, have two blades. They're almost stacked on top of each other, and uh, I don't know if I'll be able to show that or not, uh, but her mower actually mulches really, really well, but I prefer a side discharge chute. That's one of the reasons I like the Lawn Boy so well. And uh, so <clears throat> right out of the gate, uh, I knew that Honda made 
a discharge, a side discharge accessory that uh, attaches to this thing. And this this will come off. And let me let that down without. So uh, this piece right here uh, fits onto the back. And I was somewhat skeptical about it because my dad's old uh, Toro commercial has a, a plastic side discharge chute that comes off the back like that. And it just doesn't, uh, it doesn't work very well. It clogs and it wants to fall off and it kind of sticks out right here at the edge of the wheel. And it, it, it's, it's just kind of a, a kludgy arrangement. And uh, so, uh, but I saw pictures of this. There's very few videos on the internet on these Honda commercials using the side discharge chute. Uh, let's see if I can peer down into this mower and you can see the, the uh, twin blades. Hang on a second. So, so right here is the twin blades, and I'll try to stick my camera down in here so you can see that a little bit better, maybe. Uh, let me see. I'll be editing this. But basically, there's two, there's two blades. I don't know if you can see my hand. So right there's one blade, and it just sits over top of the second blade. And they overlap by probably that far. Okay, so I'm going to try to tilt this mower up so you can get a look-see. Hang on. All right, so I've, I've turned this thing around, and I'm going to lift this up. I think my handlebars are going to catch, so let me kneel down here. So right there is the blades. There's two of them. They're stacked on top of each other. It's hard to see under this deck, but uh, the goal is that they they cut the they cut the uh, they cut the clippings uh, real fine. And when when you mulch with this thing, you just don't see. I say with this thing with my wife. I'm sure this is the same way. You just don't see the the clippings, even in taller grass, has been uh, quite impressive. But uh, in any event, uh, we wanted a couple of nice mowers as we uh, kind of steamed towards retirement. And uh, this was kind of the uh, one of the things we wanted to get. And uh, I'm, battery mowers are fine. Uh, you know, I was born in the last century. And... Uh, I'd like to go out a long time from now, but I'd like to use gas um, as long as I can. Long as I'm, I'm, I, I was joking with somebody. I feel like this is a 20-year uh, push mower, and uh, I'm hoping that it, it'll. I'm hoping that uh, it doesn't outlast gas. It seems like everybody wants to get rid of gasoline. Uh, a few other things. Uh, the uh, all the wheels are on bearings. They have ball, they have uh, uh, bearings, so uh, you you don't have like a a bolt that's spinning against rubber. And you can kind of see one of those bearings right there. And uh, I think this is more for lifting than uh, bumping into stuff. That kind of bumper-looking thing there. It's got a big air cleaner. The uh, um, the gas tank goes around the back, like here, holds a fair amount of gas. The, uh, uh, like I said, this one does not have the blade brake control, and uh, that's kind of the cat's meow. Uh, that's the uh, HXA uh, model. Uh, that um, this, so I have these numbers somewhat memorized. HRC 216 HXA has the blade brake control. And uh, it's not some cheap, uh, you know, box store gimmick. It actually works and, and it's reliable. And so it lets you to just take your hands off of the, off of all those levers uh, up there. And, uh, and you can start the mower without holding anything down. Uh, if you're bagging grass, you can it, it it just basically when you when you let go of everything, the blade stops, but the engine keeps going, and it allows you to take the the bag off if you're bagging, 
and uh, dump the clippings and put it back on and keep going without uh, turning the engine off or stopping to uh, stopping in order to uh, move something out of your way. There's always something. Uh, I accomplished that with a piece of electrical tape. Uh, I won't go into how that's done, but uh, I can basically uh, take my hands off this uh, mower and every other mower I got uh, without the engine shutting off. But uh, for safety and liability and all those kind of things uh, in our lawyer uh, polluted society today, I will not get into how I do that. So before I put this side discharge chute on, I wanted to say a few more things about it. And again, uh, it's a very short throw. It's a very short throw from where the uh, grass comes off of the the mower and and out through here. Even though it's a it's a 90 degree turn, uh, you're already shooting grass in this direction. So it's kind of already aiming. Uh, into a turn like that uh, and it's got a, a big wide opening right here and I've been really impressed with how much airflow is coming out of that deck when it's blowing the grass um, it's uh, really it's really blowing the, the grass out of there at a high rate of speed my dad's uh, Toro commercial uh, the side discharge chute and uh, tall grass and any dampness to it at all like we have now would clog and uh, it was a, a real annoyance with that thing. Now, one thing this chute has that I don't know that I like is uh, there's, a, there's an aluminum deflector right here. So the grass comes out, it's hitting this, and, you know, going out of the end of the chute. And I'm sure there's, there's probably a couple reasons for that. One of them is just... Uh, from a safety standpoint, probably to slow the clippings down as they come out. Because, like I said, this thing really throws the grass. The other one is, I don't know, I talked to my brother and showed to him, and, and he thought maybe uh, it would save the wear, it would save the wear from the inside, the abrasion, if you will, from the inside, maybe, I, I don't know, but... Uh, I'm tempted to drill out the rivets to hold this thing on and 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 and, and take it off because uh, one thing about the lawn boys uh, when they throw the clippings they really throw the clippings and uh, I have no uh, I have no reason to slow these clippings down. I feel like the further you can throw them out, the more dispersed they come. But uh, that when we start mowing here in just a little bit, I'll find out. So let me put this thing on and get it off of the uh, truck, and we'll see what, what I got, see if it'll mow. I've got it set on three inches height. I think that's what it's on, and uh, we'll see if it can handle some of this grass.